الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد الأنبياء والمرسلين سيدنا ومولانا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الصلاة والسلام عليك يا رسول الله الصلاة والسلام عليك يا حبيب الله الصلاة والسلام عليك يا نبي الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا نور الله رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقده من لساني يفقهوا قولي اللهم افتح علينا حكمتك وانشر علينا رحمتك يا ذا الجلال والاكرام او الله عز وجل open the doors of knowledge and wisdom for us have mercy on us oh the one who is the most honorable the most gracious بلغ العلا بكماله كشف الدجا بجماله حسنت جميع خصاله صلوا عليه واله مرحبا مرحبا اهلا وسهلا بكم تو اول اور فيورز اند لسنرز اوف مدني شانل لايك ايفري اذر دي وي ميك گڈ انٹینشنز بیفور واچنگ اینی پروگرام اینڈ وی بلس اور پروگرام اینڈ اور دی باي ریسائٹنگ درود اینڈ صلات علی النبی صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم ایٹ از اپ ٹو یو دی ویورز اف یو انٹینڈ ٹو اٹین دی کلوزنس اف رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم مینی ا ٹائمز وی اونلی ریڈ سرٹن درود وین وی ہیو دیٹ پرٹیکولر پرابلم مائی تھنگ از دیٹ ایوری ڈے وی شوڈ ریسائٹ ایٹ از 313 ٹائمز درود فرام مارننگ ٹو ایوننگ یو ہیو دی ہول ڈے ود یو ایز یو کین ہیو اے کاؤنٹر ہیو اے تسبیح ود یو اینڈ کیپ ریسائٹنگ درود and having a track of how many you have recited is better if you don't count and recite abundantly but for the self of self motivation that you will feel happy with yourself knowing that today i have completed the certain figure it will be a sort of motivation so start reciting inshallah you will surely see the blessings of this in both worlds let's recite one or two lines of durud pak اللهم صل على سيدنا ومولانا محمد اللهم صل على سيدنا ومولانا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وبارك وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا ومولانا محمد سب سے اولا و آل ہمارا نبی سب سے بالا و آل ہمارا نبی اپنے مولا کا پیار ہمارا نبی اپنے مولا کا پیار ہمارا نبی دونوں عالم کا دولا ہمارا نبی اللہ ہم صل على سيدنا ومولانا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وبارك وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا ومولانا محمد ایک مظلوم کو اپنے مغموم کو آفتوں سے چھڑایا شہے کربلا شہید کر بلا کیا 
شہید کربلا فریاد ہے نور چشم فاطمہ فریاد ہے فریاد ہے یا شہید کربلا فریاد ہے نور چشم فاطمہ فریاد ہے موسیقی فریاد ہے یا شہید کربلا اس علی اکبر کا صدقہ جو کہ ہے 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 ہم شبیہ مصطفیٰ فریاد ہے ہم شبیہ مصطفیٰ فریاد ہے فریاد ہے صلو علی الحبیب صلی اللہ علی محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم صلاة و سلام علیکہ یا سیدی یا رسول اللہ و سلم علیکہ یا سیدی یا نبی اللہ We were listening to this beautiful منقبت اللہ اکبر شہید کربلا and after listening to this منقبت dear viewers I mentioned that we will be speaking about the حسینی caravan the mannerism the good conduct and اخلاق of امام حسین رضی اللہ عنہ it's my earnest appeal, dear viewers, listen through the ears of your heart. The effect of the story should last in ourselves. The message of salah, the message of honesty, the message of humbleness, the message of truthfulness, the message of standing for haq and with haq, supposed to be part of every ashiqe rasul sallallahu alayhi wasallam's life. Every lover, every devotee and every ummati should take a lesson from this and 
inshallah we will mention some stories of some such amazing personalities that sacrifice their lives in the plains of Karbala in today's episode you will hear inshallah but to make you understand dear viewers and listeners of the channel Imam Ali Maqam Sayyid al-Shuhada Imam Hussain radiyallahu an had warned the people and the armies of Yazid by explaining to them over and again over and again that I spare you this moment reflect and contemplate over this fact and reality that I am the grandson of Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam I fear none except almighty Allah azza wa jalla but I give you this chance to ponder he speaks to an army of 22000 people Allahu akbar hungry for several days thirsty for several days Imam Hussein radiyallahu an said listen to me and do not make haste until I advise you about which has become my responsibility and mention the reason for my arrival he mentioned the issues of Yazid Imam Hussein radiyallahu anhu then says after reciting this verse of the Holy Quran Ipaq verily my protector is almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who sent down the book and he guards the virtuous ones my concern is that oh people of Yazid do you even know what are you doing do you even know who i am he began to remind the people of Yazid that i am the son of Mawla Ali radiyallahu an i am the son of Fatima az-Zahra radiyallahu anha who is the leader of the women folk of paradise i am the grandchild of Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam i am the brother of Imam Hassan radiyallahu an who is the leader of the youth of paradise he reminded those people that saying I take out by Allah in the entire east or west you would never find any other grandchild except me I am the only grandchild on this earth alive right now of Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu and you are bloodthirsty you desire to shed my blood you are thirsty for my blood reminding them that I have not told a lie since I was aware that Almighty Allah strongly dislikes lies if you do not believe me then ask Hazrat Sayyiduna Jabir bin Abdullah radiyallahu an ask Sahal bin Saad ask Hazrat Sayyiduna Zaid bin Arqam ask Hazrat Sayyiduna Anas bin Malik radiyallahu anhu majma'in ask them about my status they would tell you they would give you the information about my status Allahu Akbar those people were quiet on the plains of Karbala koi kuch nahi keh raha hai Imam Hussain radiyallahu anhu is giving his speech his nasiha his advice to them Allahu Akbar when no answer was given when these people remained silent Imam Hussain radiyallahu anhu then said oh Shabazz bin Rabi' oh Hajjar bin Abjar oh Qais bin Ashas, or Zaid bin Haris. He started taking the names and he said to them, Are you not witness to this that I have been called here? You all desire to take bayah in my hands? They said, No, nothing of that sort happened. They lied to Imam Hussein. Dear viewers and listeners of the channel, these people tricked Imam Hussein. They showed their arrogance, their coolness. But Imam Hussain radiallahu anhu remained the pahar and the mountain of sabr and patience. Despite their lies, Imam Hussain radiallahu anhu continued making sabr and patience. Allahu Akbar. The accused followers of Yazid did not act upon the advice of Sayyidina Imam Hussain radiallahu anhu and they continued to torture and trouble him. Allahu Akbar, they began to scare him and they surrounded the tent of Imam Hussain radiallahu ta'ala anhu. Sayyidina Imam Hussain radiallahu anhu rejected the comfort of this world happily and he faced difficulties. He radiallahu anhu, despite so many troubles, dear viewers and listeners of Madhini channel, he remained firm on his stance and he sent a message for those who love Hussain that if you are a Husseini, always stick to the truth always be with the truth no matter what the circumstances may look like and be 
always speak that which is right and that which is haq and that which Allah would love and like dear viewers and listeners of the channel. He didn't mind rejecting and sending away the comfort of this dunya. Allahu Akbar. He agreed to sacrifice his family. He agreed to sacrifice his soul, his own soul and his family. But he did not desire to confuse the ummah of Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wasallam. He did not want the wrong message to be created. He didn't mind in giving his head, but he did mind in giving his hands in the hands of Yazid. He did not want to show any sort of acceptance that Yazid, you are a tyrant person. Yazid, you are an alcoholic. Yazid, you are a gambler. You do all the wrong things. You have made uh, fornication. You have made adultery permissible. You have done all the wrong things. Imam Hussein cannot stick with that which is batil. Imam Hussein cannot stick with that which is wrong. Imam Hussein would stand with that which which is haq and which is right even if it means me giving my life and this is the message of Imam Hussein radiallahu an when he let go of his comfort when Imam Hussein allowed his family to be sacrificed but till his last breath in this physical worldly life dear viewers he stood with the haq and he continued giving the message of haq Allahu Akbar he played a significant role he has a mithal hai that such a mithal such an example of standing with haq and truth had never seen by any person in this world dear viewers and listen of Madini channel Imam Hussain despite having the ability to change the situation by making dua and supplication he rather chose to have sabr and patience and teaching the followers of his Nana Jan till the day of Qiyamah that this is called istiqamat, this is called steadfastness, this is called sabr and patience, this is called perseverance, this is called tolerance that despite having the ability to take revenge with them, Allahu Akbar, he remains thirsty, he remains hungry, Allahu Akbar. This is such a message dear viewers and listeners of Madini channel, you know, I'm talking about that Hussein radiallahu and this is the characteristic, this is the akhlaq of that caravan. Ye wo log hai, ye wo hazrat hai, Allahu Akbar. Aside from the Quran praising them, aside from ayat and verses being revealed in their favor, I'm, I'm sharing with you some parables to make you understand the generosity of this gharana, the generosity and the humbleness of this family, subhanallah, subhanallah. You know, one man had 20 or 30 camels, he could not feed them. He could not look after his camels. He was a gharib person, but he owned 20 to 30 camels. And so happened, he decided to go and ask Imam Hussein radiallahu an if he could allow his camels to eat with Imam Hussein's camels. So he goes over there. The day he approaches Imam Hussein, that day Imam Hussein was sitting with his khadims, with his workers and servants, and having a meal with his servants. And he felt ashamed that I came in at this time when Imam Hussein is eating. It's like when you are eating supper or having breakfast or lunch, and you have visitors at your door at the same time. Sometimes we feel shy to eat in front of visitors. Maybe we will go away from the place. Or maybe you would send a message with someone to tell those people to wait because you are having a meal. Imam Hussein radiallahu anhu saw this person standing in front of him and said to him, brother, come eat with us, Allahu Akbar. He wasn't sitting with the royal people and the royal families. He is a royal family himself, but he sits with his khuddam. He sits with his servants and has a meal. After eating, I said to him, Ya Sayyidi, I have a problem financially. I cannot afford to support my 20 or 30 camels I've got. I'm running a bit low on finance and this is my problem. Imam Hussein man saying, all your camels and leave them with our camels, they can eat together. Allahu Akbar. This person was astounded by seeing the generosity of Imam Hussein radiallahu an. Allahu Akbar. And then he says that I swear by Allah Azza wa Jalla, I never seen anyone who is so generous like you in generosity. You are totally unique. Subhanallah, Subhanallah. The hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam is that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has said about his dear maternal grandson Hussein is the inheritor of my courage and generosity. Therefore, he radiallahu anhu was second to none in generosity. And as far as his generosity is concerned, till his last breath that was also witnessed and seen when he advised the people of Yazid to take some lesson from this, understand. This is also his generosity. Aside from not seeing anyone going empty-handed from his door, dear viewers and listeners of Madini channel, 
Another person came to Imam Hussein radiallahu anhu and made a complaint about his poverty and starvation. Ya Hussein, Ya Hussein, I am a gharib person. I am a fakir, I am a fakir, I am a fakir. Imam Hussein radiallahu anhu made that person wait at his door. He said, few minutes time, a beggar that begs, a person who came asking and his duty was to ask people because he had no such business and such work from which he could make a livelihood. Imam Hussein said, just a moment. Just wait for some time. Five bags of gold coins filled with gold coins, approximately a thousand dinars came from the court of Amir Mu'awiyah radiallahu an. And the envoy presented his apologies on behalf of Amir Mu'awiyah radiallahu an, saying to Imam Hussein that accept this money. Imam Hussein called that beggar and given him not a little, one or two coins from there. Imam Hussein took all five bags filled with gold coins and said, take all brother, it's all for you. Allahu Akbar. That person never seen such narosity. A person would give one or two coins to go and have a meal. But giving all and keeping nothing for yourself? This is the household of Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. Allahu Akbar. The poet says so beautifully. Ya shaheed e karbala fariyad hai Noor e chashm e fatima fariyad hai Allahu Akbar. Ya Shaheed e Karbala Faryad hai. Noor e Chashm e Fatima Faryad hai. Hai meri hajit. Main teba be maru. Ay meri hajit rawa. Ay meri hajit rawa. Faryad hai. Ay meri hajit rawa. Faryad hai. It's our desire that we die in Madinatul Munawwara. Oh the one who accepts Faryad. The one who hears and listens to our plea. Accept this dua and grant us death in Madinatul Munawwara whilst we are buried in Jannatul Baqi. Subhanallah. Dear viewers and listeners of Madini channel, you will find not one, not two, so many waqiyas and stories about Imam Hussein's generosity. If you are unable to share your meal with the next person, if you find it difficult helping a poor person despite having ability to do so, it means you haven't inherited this blessing from him though you love him. And it's only a claim, it's only a statement, it's only a dava which is free from action. There is no action, it's only a claim that you make, merely a claim and there's no action. It means we need to polish that area within us. Let's learn to share, let's learn to have a generous heart, let's learn to dig in our pockets and assist Islamic works. Projects are happening, masajid are being built, badaris are being built. You are asked to give donations on the path of Allah Azza wa Jalla. And despite having this many opportunities, many people out there find it very difficult, very, very difficult uh, for them to give money. And even if they're given something very small, not according to their capacity, according to the capacity of the beggar who came to beg, this means, dear viewers and listeners of the channel, that we need to polish this area and learn because my beloved Nabi وسلم, has mentioned a person who is generous, he is closer to Allah Azza wa Jalla, he is closer to Jannat and that person is actually distant from the hellfire. Subhanallah. In Tirmizi Sharif Hadith, volume number three. I'm just letting you know so that Subhanallah, we even know the reference of this Hadith in Tirmizi Sharif. A generous person is always closer to Jannat and further away from the hellfire. In another Hadith, Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, there are three things for which I can take an oath. And I inform you about one of them. And that is the wealth of the one who gives in the path of Allah is never deduced. Allah. I'm elaborating to make you understand that these are the virtues and despite all these virtues, we are still so heedless. And one hadith in Tirmizi Sharif, volume number two, the Prophet of Rahmah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has said, Salah is evidence for faith. Fasting is a shield for sins. And sadaqah erases sins as water extinguishes fire. Allah. So give charity and give sadaqah. Give sadaqah in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the pleasure of Allah. Learn to share and learn to give. This is an amazing quality which you can inherit from the gharana of Mustafa sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallama as a true lover. You know dear viewers and listeners of Madani channel, even after the incident of Karbala, Bibi Zainab radiallahu anha and her sister Fatima radiallahu anha, they both were in this caravan. 
and a very good person was elected and appointed to send them and transport them back to Madinat al Munawwara from the court of Yazid. During this entire journey, I'm, I'm showing you the generosity of the household of Huzuri Pak Sallam. The entire journey, this person who was in charge of transporting them and taking them back safely to Madinat al Munawwara, he taken care of the caravan, Hosseini caravan. Whoever was left on this caravan, he had taken care of them. He served them justly, made them rest wherever they got tied. He served them food and water. He had taken proper care of them till they reached their destination. When they finally reached Madinat al Munawwara, Hadrat Sayyidatuna Fatima radiallahu anha, the sister of Bibi Zainab, she says, This person who has a been appointed to leave us here. He played such a good role in bringing us back safely to our home. He taken care of us during the entire journey. We have nothing left except for these bangles that we have, these jewels that we have left. Oh my dear sister, let's gift this thing to him in exchange for this good conduct he showed us whilst transporting us back to Madinat al Munawwara. Allah Akbar. Bibi Zainab says, yes, let's do that. She is giving this person as a gift and she says, this is as a recompensation for the good conduct you shown us during this journey. It was a long journey, but you served us food. You took care of us. You made sure that you were fine. And we really appreciate your hospitality and your andaz of showing. And that was your way and this is our way, the gharan of Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He says, no, I swear by the one who has my life in his control. I swear by my creator, Allah azza wa jalla, that I never did this for any sort of recompensation. I never requested or even thought or asked for any sort of money and wealth of this world. I done this only for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I ask for no recompensation for this in this world. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Dear viewers, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala channel, that person returned all the jewels back and he sought forgiveness and mu'afi from them and he was astounded to see the generosity of the household of Huzuri Pak Sallam. That they actually gave this and even asked for mafi that we are sorry, we only have jewels to give you. If we had more money and cash, we would have given you that as well. But we have nothing except this. The point I want to bring to you is, have you ever seen this? This is the style of Mustafa Jani Rahman Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Therefore, the poet says, Aata hai faqeero pe Unhe pyaar kuch aisa Aata hai, aata hai faqeero pe Unhe pyaar kuch aisa خود بھیک دے اور کہے منگتے کا بھلا ہو خود بھیک دے اور کہے منگتے کا بھلا ہو This is the style of Mustafa صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم کہ انہیں فقیروں پہ اتنا پیار آتا ہے اتنا رحم آتا ہے کہ حضور پاک جب بھیگ بھی دیتے ہیں تو ساتھ میں دعا بھی فرماتے ہیں نوملی دا بیگرز میں ایک دعا فور یو وین ای بیگر اس گیون سم تنگ ہی ول ٹیک دا منی اور ٹیک دا فوڈ اور وٹ ایور اس گیون اینڈ ہی ول میک دعا فار دا گیور بٹ ہیئر دا گیور از میکنگ دعا فار دا بیگر بھیگ بھی دے رہے ہیں صدقہ بھی دے رہے ہیں حسین کریم ان کا ساتھ میں دعا بھی فرما رہے ہیں This is the generosity of Mustafa sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. So dear viewers, we did discuss the virtues and the blessings of this gharana. That if you desire the shafa'at and the intercession of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam on the day of judgment, you should serve the family of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. If you desire the nearness and the closeness of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam on the day of hashr and judgment, then you should serve the family. You will find the same hadith with different text, with different meanings, uh, or different wordings to, and that has the same effect and the same meaning. So we should not have malice in our heart for Ahlul Bayt. We should not have hatred in our heart for Ahlul Bayt, but rather we should serve them like the pious predecessors had served. Dear viewers and listeners of Madini channel, 
Let's try and reform ourselves. Let's try to become better Muslims. Let's try to remember the Pegham of Imam Hussein. Let's start from somewhere. Let's start adopting sabr and patience firstly. Because when a person doesn't have sabr and he becomes very intolerant, he does wrong things, dear viewers. So, chale, inshallah, ye aaj ka peygham tha. May Allah Azza wa Jalla pardon our sins. Sallu ala al-Habib, sallallahu ala Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Oh